on a collaboration with another shop called Stitch My Heart. She embroidered all of the outsides of the bonnets that I'm going to be sewing in this video and I wanted to share with you a little bit of behind the scenes as to what that looks like. Um, so, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are a return subscriber, please let me know in the comments so that I can say hi. I love getting to see you guys come back to each video. I hope these kinds of videos are interesting because this is just what I'm doing in my life right now and I want to share it. So right now what I'm working on, I sewed two shells of bonnets and I stopped before I put the trim around the edge because what I want to show you, I'll grab it really fast. This is my jar that I keep all my tags in. Most of it was a waste of money because I don't think I'll be using them. But I used to get these tags here. These are like my old brand, you probably can't see too well. They're my old brand logo with a purple H and now I have more of like a green and tan color scheme. Um, and then the um, everything was printed by an Etsy shop, which I don't mind supporting. But in this case, it was getting very, very expensive and one of the things I didn't like about my brand right now is that I'll show you once you have a bonnet um, it is not clear who made it and what size it is once you take the tag off the cardboard tag that gets attached in packaging so there is this little H but if someone doesn't remember oh I got this at Huckleberry Bonnets they're gonna be like oh it's the brand tag but I don't know what the brand is so what I'd like to do is create a label that's going to go like right here in the back of the bonnet that's going to say Huckleberry Bonnets and then this outside tag will be a new tag with the H label that I have that's the new one and then I'm also going to put a size tag next to the brand tag so you can see after you take the tag off there's an attached tag saying what size it is. I just think that's more professional and more finished and like honestly just a little bit more practical if you have lots of kids and you're going through stuff and you're like what size is this? Who do I use it for? Um, so where I'm going with this is that I looked on Etsy to print size tags. It's very expensive because originally I was just printing the little H tags and that was okay but when you add up the brand labels and a sheet for each size, which I have eight sizes now, it was gonna be over like $180, I think. And I can't really afford that right now, nor do I really want to spend $180 on tags. I could, but I don't really want to. So my husband, who's amazing, found this stuff from Amazon, which I'll grab it. And it is basically, Elodie's here with me now too. Whoa. It's basically a, um, it's fabric for your printer. So I've never heard of this before. But basically what you do is you put fabric through your normal house printer and print stuff that way. So I took time and um, while this was shipping to me, I designed labels for everything, um, and I'm going to try and print it out today Let's see how it goes. So, if you're interested in that kind of thing, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, like this video if you want to and are enjoying yourself so far. Let's see how this goes. So first, I'm going to try printing off on a normal piece of paper to make sure my design looks good. And then I'm going to try printing on this, and then it might still be okay. I'll take the back off and we'll see. I don't know. I hope it goes well, um, because 
the other place that I need to order from, if not, and spend the $180, they are going to be taking like three weeks to do it and I need the tags like today. <laughs> so that will be a little bit of an issue, but let's try it out. Don't put my yellow top over my shoulder. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to sit on your stool? Yep. Yeah? Okay, well I'm going to need it for sewing here in a minute. But you can have it right now if you want. Do you want to sit over here? No. You want to sit right there? Okay, go ahead. Alright. So, here's what I've done. Put it, Sorry about the sunshine. The sun's like really coming in that window. This is real life, people. Um, I have a normal piece of paper. I'm going to put that in. And then... I have my design here. So I saved them all together in one design and we'll just start with um, the logo, like the brand tag with it. It says Huckleberry Bonnets on the website so you can find us even after you take the tag off. Um, so if it'll let me, it's loading, I'm going to try and print it off. It's just paper so it's okay, test sheet, it's always a good thing to do. Um, thanks Leland for telling me to do a test sheet because I would not have to do that. You would think that I would know by now to just like practice, but no, I don't. So thank you to my husband. Ah, hey, it's coming out good. It's coming out pretty good. It's, a, it's lighter. It's lighter than my logo, but it's still in my color scheme of like my brand colors. So it'll be okay. Spacing is perfect. I think it's going to work. That's how it printed. This would be a label, that's a label, that's a label, all on this sheet. It's really hard to tell. But the paper printed out really good. I'm excited about that. So now I'm going to try this. Oh! Ah! I think it worked. Oh! That is nice. I think next time around I'll get cotton. I was not in charge of ordering, so Leland, next time around, get cotton. <laughs> it's going to be like my new purchasing person. Ah, yes! Look at that. That is gorgeous branding. Okay, now let me see and hope to God I didn't just ruin this sheet. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just printed my own labels! I'm gonna go places in life. I tell you what. Okay, I did the first one. There it is. I'll zoom up on it later. It's fairly big. I feel like I may resize, print a little bit smaller, because these are large. I'm just thinking like against the back of a bonnet, that's like a pretty big, it's a pretty big tag to go on the back. Ha! Like, it takes up a lot of room. The lighting's so bad you probably can't tell. You know, because there's the bonnet and it's like half the back of the head. Mommy! Yeah. I think you can have a two clown joy face. You are. Thank you. That's very kind. Mommy, this is cold. Cold. It is? It's 5.30? Oh my gosh, it's 5.30. What? That is craziness. Okay. This is white soft. Mommy's how white soft. Thank you. I think your hair is very soft. Alright. What's that then? My hat is fuzzy. You think your hair is fuzzy? Yeah. I think your hair is very soft. I think my hat is very fuzzy. Can I brush your hair? Sure. I'm just going to stick this in the printer. Can I? Okay. Brush your hair. Yes, you can brush my hair. So what I have going on here now, um, it's like a couple days later, I have stuffed a doll pillow, like a crocheted 
pillow for a doll inside these bonnets and I'm just about to do like a little photo shoot like that um, for Instagram and the website and yeah I'm pretty excited so I will insert some photos of what they turned out like and I'm gonna get right into it okay so I finished taking the pictures and now I'm just gonna get ready packaging but I wanted to share with you um, these little lace bags I purchased from a sustainable shop that is now closed down um, and I'm gonna use them to package the embroidered bonnets just as an extra touch of like these are really special because it's not something I do normally and they're a lot more pricier than my usual bonnet. Let's do it! <laughs> 